everyone, welcome or welcome back to Adya News Channel. I am Sri Anjali CH and today we have another set of interesting news for you. First, we have Ashna with the business news. Hi everyone, this is Ashna Kamani presenting to you the business news. ICICI Bank files cheating case against Carvey Stock Broking Limited. A case has been registered against Carvey Stock Broking Limited's promoter C. Padhasadri for cheating the bank to the tune of Rs 563 crores. Petrol and diesel prices last today, prices decreased frequently. HDFC Bank plans aggressive push in credit card space as it looks to regain the market share. CCI slabs rupees 200 crores penalty on MRT Suzuki for violating comp competition norms. India's GDP likely to grow at 18.5%, says SBI report. Hyundai unveils I-20 inline new model and aims to bring more new models. Yahoo shuts down its new websites in India. It says it cannot limit itself to the new regulations passed by the government, which say that companies in India can accept only up to 26% of the investment in the form of foreign investment. It also said that Yahoo mail users will not be affected or implemented in any way. Thank you. Thank you, Ashna, for the business news. Next, we have Jigisha for the entertainment news. Hello, everyone. I'm Jigisha of MEC Second Year, here with you to give you the entertainment news for this week. Disney Plus announces a new live-action prequel series of the Jules Verne classic, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. The story narrates the origin of an Indian prince named Captain Nemo and his adventures on the submarine Nautilus. Mission Majnu starring Siddharth Malhotra has begun filming its second season. The story narrates the true events which occurred in the 1970s following India's most daring mission into Pakistan's heartland. Fans choose Shawn Mendes and Taney's Summer of Love this week as their favorite new music. BTS Butter extends record on the Billboard Hot 100 charts this week ranks among top 10 for the 13th week in a row. Spider-Man No Way Home's first theatrical trailer is out. The official movie is all set to release in theatres on December 17. The Korean Film Festival in Australia is all set to return for its 12th edition from September 2nd to October 23rd across Canberra, Brisbane, Melbourne and Sydney. That's all for this week's entertainment news. Stay tuned for more. Thank you. That was very interesting. Thank you, Jigisha. Next, we have Bindusri with the political news. Greetings to everyone. I am Bindusri here to present political news. Former Puducherry Lieutenant Governor LG Kiran Bedi has advocated a strong presence of the UN in trouble torn Afghanistan, which has been overrun by the Taliban, posing a grave threat to the safety, security, and freedom of the women and children. The Shiv Sena on Monday said opposition parties will have to make straight and clever moves to defeat the BJP in 2024 Lok Sabha elections and West Bengal and Maharashtra have shown that the Modi Shah Jagannot can be halted in the poll battlefield and on the political chessboard. The takeover of India's neighboring country Afghanistan by the Taliban terrorists could not have happened perhaps at a better time for the BJP. The Saffron Party is likely to benefit out of the situation both in short and long terms. Congress leader Sachin Pilot on Tuesday said it was beyond comprehension that the BJP is seeking people's blessings through Jan Ashirwad Yatra when the prices of petrol and diesel have crossed Rs 100 mark and China and Pakistan are attacking India at its borders. Besides the Congress, West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee led Trinamool Congress TMC has also opposed the Modi government's National Monetization Pipeline NMP saying it was akin to a self-off. That is it for political news. Over to Broadcaster. Thank you Bindushri. Now a little break from the news we have Kusumita as our Adya Informer. Hello everyone, I am Kusumita and I am here as Adya Informer today. So without any delay, let's go into Adya. Firstly talking about August 15th. As it was our 75th Independence Day, we had great celebrations in Adya. How? Not offline, though in online we enjoyed a lot. We got opportunities to show our talents like dance, singing and giving speech about Independence Day through which we got information about it in depth. 
Now, without any delay, I want to tell you guys about the career enhancement program that took place this week. Mahadev Sharma, who is a student of degree final year, has told us few things about the trade has gave us information that anybody can do trading and it is very simple but it's not that you have to do nothing in trading but trading will be simple when you understand it better and i'm sure most of us got very good information through that and last but not the least we have parents teachers meeting in adya we had it online so that teachers and parents have a communication and it went on very well Thank you. Over to the broadcaster. Thank you, Kusumita. Now, we have Ritwik with the tech news. Welcome to Tech and Auto News, everyone. World's most popular video conferencing app, Zoom, has globally affected all online classes and meetings due to a severe crash down. According to the website Down Detector, the Zoom app has been facing issues in India around 1 p.m. But the good news is all the services were restored within the time span of 30 minutes. Maruti Suzuki, India's largest car maker, has been slapped with Rs 200 crore fine by the Competition Commission of India, CCI. In a press release, the CCI announced that it was imposing this fine because the company was indulged in unfair business practices. That's it for today. This is Ritwik signing off. Stay tuned for more updates. Thank you, Ritwik, for the tech news. Now, we have Ritwik with the sports news. I am Ruthik of CC second year and I am here with sports news. Here comes the important news. Tokyo Paralympic Games declared open by Japan's Emperor Naruhito. PM Modi chiefs Indian contingent on a Tokyo Paralympic opening ceremony. And also Virat Kohli sends the best wishes and support to Team India. Coming to cricket, India registered their third test victory at Lords as they defeated England by 151 runs in second test match to take 1-0 lead in five match test series where KL Rahul scored fine century and he smashed 12 boundaries and a six in his knock of 129 runs and also Mohammad Siraj took four wickets in first innings and four wickets in second innings he was also on a hat trick twice in the match coming to athletics under 20 championship Shairi Singh won silver medal in women's long jump at the World Athletics Under-20 Championship in Nairobi on Sunday, where she missed gold medal by a centimeter. And that's it for today's sports news. Thank you. Thank you, Ritik. And last but not the least, we have Australia with the weather news. Welcome to weather news. After almost two weeks, there's going to be some weather activity across the regions of the country. The western disturbance will continue to give rain and snow in the hills for the entire week. While the plains are expected to absorb light and moderate trains, central India, eastern India, peninsular India will also receive some air during the week. Let's have the detailed look of weather across India. Western weather in the northern India. Western disturbances are already given rain and snow in higher reaches of the hills, while the lower parts will be affected in the next 24 hours. This weather system is also going to give light rains to moderate rains to plains by Tuesday night, next Tuesday night, to the coming Wednesday. By Thursday, the intensity will decrease only to pick it up again by during the weeks. The spell of rain will be widespread and prolonged about 3-4 three, three to four days. The above normal temperatures in regions expected to come down during this time, providing relief from warm conditions. Weather in the central India, particularly in Gujarat, it is very hot. The day temperature in the regions are settling to the mid-30s. Maharashtra and Chhattisgarh are also observing such normal temperatures. During the second half of the week, the system in the south Pakistan is expected to travel eastwards across southern Rajasthan to Gujarat, giving rains in central India. The rainfall is likely to bring down the temperatures in the region by a few notches. The eastern and northeast India will continue to observe rain throughout the week. During the start of the week, the intents will be light, but by Wednesday or Thursday, it could be moderate. East India will also observe some good rains on Saturday and Sunday. The day temperatures in East India, particularly in Bihar, are settling in the early 30s, which will come down once the spell of rain is observed. Weather in South India 
The passage of weather western disturbance has pushed anti-cyclone circulation in Rajasthan, adjoining to Madhya Pradesh, close to east coast, south Odisha, and north Andhra Pradesh. This has caused disruption in the wind pattern and early uh, easterlies to southerlies or east southerlies. The change in wind pattern, which is warm land, winds have further heated up to the interior parts of this region. However, the feeble through moving southern peninsula during this rain is expected from Thursday onwards. This is it for the weather news for the whole week. See you uh, in the next week. Signing off, Ascharya. Bye bye. I hope you all liked and enjoyed this week's news. For more updates, follow the Adya News channel. Thank you.